Hello, this is Adrian from Zmoto Direct. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to install a DVR system from A to Z. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the remote access. I'm going to show you how to uh, configure a hard drive in here and uh, basically everything these systems have to offer. Uh, what, we're, what we're using today is an A channel system. Uh, what you want to do first is start by removing the screws for the top cover. There's two screws on each side here. There's a couple screws in back here. You just want to take out the screws so you can remove the top cover. I've already done that, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and move on and slide the cover off. When you first take the cover off of here, you'll notice that the DVR has two cables. Uh, you have one uh, power cable and you have a data cable. Now this is for the hard drive. When you're going to install a hard drive, a lot of people call in and ask, what type of hard drive do I use with the DVR? It'll take any serial ATA hard drive, three and a half inch, so any SATA hard drive. Um, I have one here, it's just a standard uh, hard drive like you'd use in a computer, uh, three and a half inch. You can see the connections on there. Um, and all you do is simply, just like you would in a computer, just plug in the connectors. Let me plug in the connectors real quick. Okay, both connectors are plugged in, data and uh, power cables plugged in. So what you want to do is just slide it down, drop it in in between here. Um, you can see where you can mount the screws on there, on the side there, um, on each side. Make sure that it's not touching any electronic components here or in back where the power switch is. Just kind of position it in the center, whatever, and then uh, mount the screws. If you don't have hard drive screws, uh, if you look what comes in the DVR package with the software CD, the uh, batteries, the instruction manual and all that, you'll find a little um, set of screws in the package that is for mounting the hard drive. So just go ahead and secure that hard drive, put the uh, cover back on it, and you're good to go. Um, inside the DVR box, you'll have a power cable, which uh, powers your DVR, obviously. Uh, it'll come with a mouse which you'll, you'll be using later to configure your, your network, set your date and time, watch your videos and stuff like that. Um, every DVR also comes with a remote control. Uh, this is pretty much a standard kit. This is your DVR pack. Um, if you look right here, you'll also notice that we have a, a brown, uh, an all-brown box. The all-brown box is actually a... Um, this is what holds your camera pack in here. Uh, you'll have four infrared day and night cameras, uh, six millimeter lens, 420 line resolution, so they're, they're color cameras, they're really great cameras. Uh, you can use them indoors, outdoors, it doesn't matter. I mean, these are, these are great little cameras uh, for any home or office. Um, you have the power supply. Let me just go ahead and pull this stuff out and show you. You'll have a splitter. Um, I don't know if you can see that, the splitter there. You have the splitter and you have the power supply. This is a very common question. People get confused about this. Uh, it's very simple. I'm going to show you how to do it. You take the end of the connector and plug that single connector into there. Now you have your uh, power supply. It splits it up into four different connections. That will power each one of your cameras here. You have four. The pack comes with four 60-foot cables. If you notice on, you know, let me set this power supply down. On the end of the connectors, you'll notice on the power side, which are the red ones, you have two different types of connectors. So one's going to be for the DVR side, and one's going to be for the camera side. So you'll plug the power and video into one in, into the camera, and you plug the uh, the video connection and the uh, power connection from the splitter. So here's the here's the splitter again. You plug that into here and you plug this one into the DVR. So, in these, plug into the camera. Um, let me open up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up one of these camera boxes right here. And I'll show you real quick. Inside the camera pack here, you have a little card, it'll show you all the specs on there of the camera. Like I said, they're, they're very small, very, very neat little cameras. Um, you can put them anywhere. Comes with a uh, mounting bracket. So you just screw this onto the, 
the back of the camera. And then you have uh, three screw holes. I mean, you can screw it up. And there you got your, your camera. Anyways, the, um, the video side and the power side for the camera right here, you just plug that into there. And then you plug your, your BNC connector, twist it, and it's locked into place. And there you have your, your camera side. So on your video side, you have your splitter. And then all you have left is the video side. On the back of the DVR, let me move some of this out of the way here so we can work a little easier. On the back of the DVR, you can see you have channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is an 8-channel system, so a 4-channel system obviously has 4, but you just go ahead and uh, plug in your connector into each port as you install them. Check it and that's uh, that's pretty much a, a complete hookup right there. So in the next segment I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything. I'm gonna hook it up to a monitor. Um, as you can see on the back here you have a Ethernet port. It's a standard Ethernet jack. You have the USB for your mouse uh, to configure things. You have uh, the standard VGA port like what I was saying. Um, you can use that with a, with a, a TV if you have a, a VGA input on your, your television at home, uh, some people want to use that. Or if you just have a, any computer monitor to work with any VGA uh, monitor. Um, a lot of these models have a RS-45 port, pretty much all of them. Um, so if you want to have motorized cameras, you can do that. Uh, and that's pretty much, pretty much it. You just got your power connection there. You got your on-off switch right here. I mean, they're very simple to install, very easy to operate. Pretty much anybody can install a kit and do it yourself uh, we have everything you need we got all the accessories if you need extra cables you can extend these cables like I said they come with 460 foot if you need a hundred foot 200 foot um, I wouldn't run it over say 250 foot 260 foot is fine so if you had a 200 foot cable you can hook it up to the 60 and have a 260 foot cable so it just depends on how, how long a uh, run you need so, but uh, we have all the cables and connectors and couplers and that that you'll need, and I'll be explaining that more in detail later. But for right now, this is just uh, segment one. We're going to be having uh, multiple segments on how to install this, like I said, from start to finish. So uh, stay tuned for our next segment. That's it. Thank you.